when the craziest car at the show is the platform that no one in the United States will touch, and you guys need to get on it. This thing blew me away. It was closing time, so I couldn't get a lot of shots, but I had to bring this to you. I'm just gonna start naming parts off. In the rear, we have a ridiculously cool custom chassis mounted 3D GT carbon wing covering what looks like a modified Weber sports rear bumper and blacked out taillights. From the side, we can see that the doors opened with electronic poppers and that the side skirts are TRD pieces. Yeah, this whole car is pieced together, but all the parts play really nice with each other, including the Gretti front lip. The headlights are just generic eBay projectors that you can pick up anywhere that have been blacked out. That's the thing. Minus a few custom bits, most of these parts, even if in rep form, are available for pretty cheap. But the way they are put together and the fact that no one builds this platform, that's what makes it cool. Above the headlights is a vented hood provided by Stage 21, a maker of cheap aero parts that are run on a lot of drift cars. It's held in place by a set of aero catch hood latches. Let's not forget about the Ganador style mirrors as we get down to the stamp setup. I don't have any info on the suspension components, but I'm almost certain this car is rolling static on coilovers because I did not see it raised for the whole show. The wheels, however, I could tell you all about. They are Stance Magic number 130s, 18 by 9.5 with an offset of 18. And guess what? New, they will only set you back 198 bucks per wheel if you were in Japan. This car is not out of the reach of those on a budget. You just have to want to travel the road less traveled and be ready to take the heat. Flame on. guys in the next video peace